Hi, hey. Andy. Hey, Andy. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Excellent. Good. Thanks so much for talking to me today. Our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> um, now, congratulations on the show, first of all. It's really, I love it. I've watched the first two episodes. Oh, thank Yay. you. Um, and what I've noticed is that Jane has been getting really lucky, and she keeps kind of impressing Gray. So what <laughs> I want to know is, will that kind of continue, or is she, is she bound to screw up eventually? Oh, you know, she, she impresses her at first, but I, I, she definitely starts to get overwhelmed and, and makes a bit of a mess. Actually, in episode three, that's the Brad episode, uh -huh. there's, so, there's some good stuff coming up. It's, <laughs> some it's, good it's kind of hard to impress me, though. That's the problem. Yeah. I'm not easily impressed, and I have very high expectations of myself and others. So that's <laughs> yes. the, that is the problem. Yep. I love the Birkin. Yeah, the Birkin's good. There, there's a, <laughs> we have a day player in one of the episodes that's an Hermes Birkin, the like ostrich orange bag. It's insane. It's it, insanely expensive. And, and she has a really ugly purse, <laughs> which is beneath my assistant's <laughs> taste because, you know, she stands for me, so. So Gray gives me a bag to reward me for, for my so, good so, job. Yeah, yeah, good job for a while. For mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um, now I, I also noticed uh, Gray has that big empty house that that Jane went to uh, in the in the pilot, um, and I assume maybe she doesn't live alone. So when are we going to start learning about Gray's personal life? Well, what do you mean <laughs> she doesn't live alone? What's wrong with living alone? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe no, she does. Gray, Gray, Gray has a personal life. I think you'll start to see a peak of that first in episode three. But you already saw a peak in episode one. Oh, that's true. If you were paying attention. Yeah. yeah. Did you not notice that somebody walked? Dropped but, his towel yes. in the bed? Didn't oh, I, you know, I need to rewatch that pilot. Yeah. yeah. There's a young, there's a man who looks there's rather a bevy young. Of young men. <laughs> <laughs> who walks behind, and Jane notices him, and I don't have time to deal with her noticing him. So. <laughs> there will be men. Oh. He comes back. <laughs> he comes back. <laughs> there will be men. That's a, that's a good tease. Yeah, um, there will be men. <laughs> and now, uh, Jane has been sort of running in between her two worlds, you know, school and work, but I'm wondering, are they going to sort of start to collide more? Yeah, they definitely, they, they start to collide. There's one episode in particular where they collide in a big way um, because people come to my school from Donovan Decker. And so there's a lot of, a lot more running away from things in that episode and all in really, really tall shoes. So it's a, it's a delicate balance, literally. I was gonna say you're getting really good at running in heels. Yeah. It's okay. There's a lot of teetering. <laughs> Our showrunner, April Blair, calls me baby giraffe because I like stand on them funny and teeter around. I'm getting better. I'm getting but better. But it's endearing and charming. And I think that, <laughs> that people will relate to that because what young girl does run around in those kind of shoes anyway? Yeah, there's, there's certainly a like putting on your mother's clothes sort mm -hmm. of feel. But, um, you know, she's experimenting with different clothes and she's not afraid to take risks. And, and I, I think, think that's, kids will really love that yeah. because I think that's what happens. You know, there's a whole process of like, who am I? What's my identity? Yeah, and, and, and a lot of that's and... expressed, especially as a teenager, through what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and now speaking of both of your identities, uh, you both play such kind of dynamic characters in different ways. Um, so what do you kind of love about each of your characters? Um, you know, all the characters on the show are really dynamic, and, and, and as the season progresses, you really see, you know, the villains become vulnerable, and, and you know, you see the, the good guys who make mistakes. And um, But I, I love Jane because she, I think my favorite thing about Jane is that she's, She's incredibly vulnerable, you know, and she has a good sense of humor about herself and her place in school and in the world, and, but she's also not afraid to take on challenges and pursue her passions, and so I strive to be more like that, you know? I think she's really cool. It was interesting yeah. yesterday because I had so many people say just how unlikable my character is that it was it hurt me in some <laughs> in way. And my friends at home, when they watched it, they were like, "You've ne I've never seen you do this, and you do it so well." But um, for me, the pleasure in Gray is the the uh, ability to make people laugh, and I love to make people laugh. And she is so direct and so hard and so cold that it's 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 hysterical. 
Um, and that's, and I think that's it gets even fun funnier part. when when she she's complimenting Jane, but she doesn't want to give too much away, and she's holding her cards very close, and so you sort of start to get to pry her open, especially in episode two, and then in the coming season. I think it's she's a great character, and the writing is terrific, yeah. and that that was that is the most fun. Is I read it and I laugh, like I'll I'll get the the script for the coming week, and I was like, I can't believe this is what I get to do. This is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Absolutely. I'm just having a blast. Great. Um, now, I'm, the last thing I'm going to leave you with is kind of a doozy, so prepare yourself. Uh -oh, uh, okay. Some of our readers have this <laughs> wacky theory that Gray is actually Jane's mom. I and it's got this big last night. I yeah, had a oh, friend. you did? Yeah, a friend of mine wrote me, and people. she said it's all on, on Facebook yeah. that you're my daughter. Here's the thing. I, I mean, I'll take it. Look at her. <laughs> I will take that. <laughs> you're sweet. I don't think it's possible, but I have no idea. Uh, you they don't tell know. us anything. Okay, no, they don't, no, tell I don't, they don't tell me anything. They don't tell me a thing. I have no idea. I, I think it'd be... It's kind of fun because yeah? you're, it's like this mystery. You have no idea where. I'm, who, what's going to happen to me. I don't know until they, they give it to me. So. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we'll we, uh, we look forward to seeing what happens. <laughs> Thank you.